Imagine a world where your thoughts have the power to shape your reality. A place where thinking positively can actually bring good things into your life. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, get ready to have your mind blown because that's exactly what the law of attraction is all about. This incredible idea isn't just some made up fantasy. It's a powerful tool that can totally change your life. And the best part? It all starts with the simple act of thinking positive thoughts. But here's the thing. If you don't learn how to harness the power of positive thinking, you might be missing out on some amazing opportunities. Life could be passing you by and you wouldn't even know it. That's why it's so important to understand how the law of attraction works. It means you need to change the way you look at the world around you. It's not always easy, but trust me, it's worth it. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is this law of attraction thing? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Let's break it down in a way that's easy to understand. At its core, the law of attraction is all about the idea that your thoughts and feelings can influence what happens in your life. It's like this. When you think positive thoughts and feel good emotions, you're more likely to attract positive experiences and opportunities. On the flip side, if you're always thinking negative thoughts and feeling down, you might find yourself stuck in a cycle of bad luck and missed chances. Think of it like a big magnet. Your thoughts and feelings are like the magnet and the experiences in your life are like little metal objects. When your magnet is set to positive, it attracts all the good stuff. But when it's set to negative, it pulls in things you don't really want. Now I know what you're thinking. Come on, how can my thoughts actually change what happens to me? Well, let me give you an example from everyday life. Have you ever woken up feeling grumpy and then had a terrible day where everything seemed to go wrong? And then on another day, you woke up feeling great and suddenly everything just fell into place? That's the law of attraction in action. When you start your day feeling positive, you're more likely to notice good things around you. You might smile at a stranger and they smile back. That little interaction puts you in an even better mood. Then, because you're feeling good, you do a great job at work and your boss notices. See how it all connects? But the law of attraction isn't just about thinking happy thoughts and waiting for good things to happen. It's about using the power of your mind to create real change in your life. It's about setting goals, believing in yourself, and taking action to make your dreams come true. Now let's dive a little deeper into how our thoughts shape our reality. This is where things get really interesting, so pay attention. Have you ever heard the saying, you are what you think? Well, when it comes to the law of attraction, this couldn't be more true. Our thoughts have a huge impact on how we see the world and how we live our lives. It's all about the mind-reality connection. Here's how it works. Your thoughts create your feelings, your feelings influence your actions, and your actions determine your results. It's like a big chain reaction. For example, if you constantly think, I'm not good enough, you'll start to feel insecure and anxious those negative feelings might stop you from trying new things or going after opportunities. And guess what? If you don't try, you can't succeed. So those negative thoughts have actually created a reality where you're not achieving your goals. But flip that around and the same is true for positive thoughts. If you believe in yourself and think, I can do this, you'll feel confident and motivated 
those good feelings will push you to take action and try new things. And even if you don't succeed right away, you'll be more likely to keep trying until you do. That's how positive thoughts can lead to positive results in your life. Let me give you a simple analogy to help you understand this better. Imagine your mind is like a garden. Your thoughts are the seeds you plant in this garden. Positive thoughts are like seeds for beautiful flowers and tasty vegetables. Negative thoughts are like seeds for weeds. Whatever you choose to plant and water will grow. If you focus on planting and nurturing positive thoughts, your mental garden will be full of beauty and abundance. But if you let negative thoughts take over, your garden will be overrun with weeds that choke out all the good stuff. Now, let's talk about how negative thoughts can really mess things up for us. When we think negatively all the time, it's like wearing a pair of dark sunglasses. Everything looks gloomy and bad. We start to expect the worst, and guess what? That's often what we get. It's not because the world is out to get us, but because we're so focused on the negative that we miss all the good stuff around us. Negative thoughts can also hold us back from trying new things or taking risks. If you're always thinking, I'll probably fail, you're much less likely to even try. And if you don't try, you can't succeed. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. But here's the good news. Just like we can choose what to plant in a garden, we can choose what thoughts to focus on. It takes practice, but we can learn to catch our negative thoughts and replace them with positive ones. And when we do that, we start to see the world in a whole new way. Now, you might be thinking, this all sounds great, but how do I actually start thinking more positively? Well, that's where positive affirmations come in. These are like little pep talks you give yourself to boost your positive thinking. But don't worry, we'll get into all of that in the next section. Remember, the law of attraction isn't about ignoring reality or pretending everything is perfect. It's about choosing to focus on the good believing in possibilities, and taking action to create the life you want. It's about understanding that your thoughts have power and learning how to use that power to your advantage. So, are you ready to start harnessing the power of positive thinking? Are you excited to see how the law of attraction can work in your life? Great! Because in the next part of this video, we're going to dive into some practical techniques you can use to start attracting more positivity into your life right away. Get ready to transform your thinking and change your world. The Power of Positive Affirmations Let's talk about one of the most powerful tools in the Law of Attraction Toolkit positive affirmations. These aren't just feel-good phrases you repeat in the mirror, although that can be part of it. Positive affirmations are statements that can help rewire your brain for success and happiness. They're like little seeds of positivity you plant in your mind, and with enough care and attention, they can grow into beautiful, life-changing beliefs. So, what exactly are positive affirmations? Simply put, they're positive statements that describe a desired situation or state of being. They're usually short, clear, and stated in the present tense, as if what you want is already happening. For example, instead of saying, I want to be confident, you might say, I am confident and capable. See the difference? The second one feels more powerful, doesn't it? Now, creating effective affirmations isn't rocket science, but there are a few tricks to make them work better. First, make them personal. Use I statements to really own the affirmation. Second, keep them positive. 
Instead of saying, I don't want to be poor, say, I am attracting wealth and abundance. Third, make them specific. The more detailed your affirmation, the easier it is for your mind to visualize and believe it. Let's look at some examples of daily affirmations you could use. I am worthy of love and respect. I attract success and abundance in all areas of my life. I am confident and capable in everything I do. I choose to be happy and positive today. I am grateful for all the good in my life. Remember, the key is to choose affirmations that resonate with you and your goals. Don't just copy someone else's, make them your own. Now, you might be thinking, okay, but how do I actually use these affirmations? Great question. The most important thing is consistency. Try saying your affirmations out loud every morning when you wake up and every night before you go to bed. You can also write them down in a journal or even stick them on your mirror or computer screen as reminders throughout the day. At first, it might feel a bit silly or fake. That's totally normal. Your mind might try to argue with your affirmations, especially if they're very different from your current beliefs. But here's the thing. The more you repeat these positive statements, the more your brain starts to accept them as truth. It's like training a muscle. The more you do it, the stronger it gets. Now that we've talked about positive affirmations, let's move on to another powerful tool in the law of attraction, visualization. This is all about using your imagination to create a clear mental picture of what you want to achieve or experience. It's like watching a movie in your mind, but you're the director, the star, and the audience all rolled into one. Why is visualization so important? Well, your brain is an amazing thing. It doesn't always know the difference between what's real and what's vividly imagined. When you visualize something clearly and with emotion, your brain starts to believe it's real. This can help you feel more confident, motivated, and ready to take action towards your goals. So how do you actually do visualization? Here's a step-by-step -step guide to get you started. Find a quiet, comfortable place where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to relax. Think about a goal you want to achieve or something you want to manifest in your life. Start to create a mental picture of this goal as if it's already happened. What do you see? What do you hear? What can you feel? Make the image as vivid and detailed as possible. Use all your senses. Most importantly, feel the emotions you would feel if this was really happening. Joy, excitement, pride, whatever fits your goal. Hold this image and these feelings for a few minutes, really letting yourself believe it's real. Slowly open your eyes, but try to hold on to that positive feeling. Now you might be wondering how often you should practice visualization. The answer is, as often as you can. Ideally, try to do a focused visualization session at least once a day. Many people find it helpful to do this first thing in the morning to set a positive tone for the day or right before bed to let their subconscious mind work on it overnight. But you don't have to limit yourself to formal sessions. Throughout the day, whenever you have a spare moment, you can briefly visualize your goals. Waiting in line at the store? Visualize. Stuck in traffic? Visualize. With your eyes open, of course. The more you practice, the easier and more natural it becomes. Remember, visualization isn't about escaping reality or living in a fantasy world. 
It's about programming your mind for success and training yourself to recognize opportunities that can help you achieve your goals. It's a powerful way to align your thoughts, feelings, and actions with what you want to attract into your life. Now let's talk about something that might seem simple but is incredibly powerful, gratitude. When it comes to the law of attraction, gratitude is like a supercharger. It can amplify your positive thoughts and feelings, making you an even stronger magnet for good things in your life. So why is gratitude so important? Well, when you're grateful, you're focusing on the good things you already have in your life. This does two important things. First, it puts you in a positive state of mind, which helps you attract more positive experiences. Second, it sends a message to the universe, or your subconscious mind if you prefer, that you appreciate what you have, which can open the door for more blessings to come your way. Think of it this way. If you're always complaining about what you don't have, you're telling the universe, I don't have enough. And guess what? The universe listens and gives you more of not having enough. But when you're grateful for what you do have, you're saying, I have so much to be thankful for. And the universe responds by giving you more reasons to be thankful. Now, how can you practice gratitude daily? It's easier than you might think. Here are some simple ways. Keep a gratitude journal. Every day, write down three to five things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big things. It could be as simple as a delicious cup of coffee or a smile from a stranger. Start your day with gratitude. Before you even get out of bed, think of three things you're thankful for. Say thank you more often. Not just to people, but for experiences and things in your life. Take a gratitude walk. Go for a short walk and notice all the things around you that you're grateful for. The fresh air, the trees, the sky. Make it a dinner table tradition. If you eat with family or friends, take turns sharing one thing you're each grateful for that day. Remember, gratitude isn't about ignoring problems or pretending everything is perfect. It's about choosing to focus on the good, even when things are tough. It's about finding the silver lining and appreciating the lessons in every experience. Now, you might be wondering what kinds of things you can be grateful for. Well, the possibilities are endless. Here are some examples to get you started. Your health and body, your home and the roof over your head, friends and family who support you, the food on your table, your job or source of income, the beauty of nature around you, your pets, the ability to learn and grow, technology that makes your life easier, the challenges that have made you stronger. The key is to really feel the gratitude, not just think about it. When you write or think about what you're grateful for, take a moment to really feel the appreciation in your heart. This emotional connection is what makes gratitude so powerful in the law of attraction. As you practice gratitude regularly, you'll likely notice some amazing changes. You might start to feel happier and more content with your life. You might notice more positive things happening around you. And you might find that you're naturally becoming more positive and optimistic. Remember, gratitude is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. So don't get discouraged if it feels a bit forced at first. Keep practicing, and soon it will become a natural part of your daily life. And as your gratitude grows, you'll find that the law of attraction works even more powerfully in your life, bringing you more and more reasons to be thankful. 
overcoming negative thinking. Now that we've explored the power of positive thinking, let's tackle one of the biggest obstacles on your law of attraction journey, negative thinking. We all have negative thoughts from time to time. It's part of being human. But when these thoughts become a habit, they can really hold us back from attracting the good things we want in life. First, let's look at some common negative thought patterns. Do any of these sound familiar? I'm not good enough. Bad things always happen to me. I'll never be successful. People don't like me. I can't do this. These are what we call limiting beliefs. They're like invisible chains that hold us back from reaching our full potential. The good news is, once you recognize these patterns, you can start to change them. So, how do we turn these negative thoughts around? Here are some simple techniques you can use. Catch and challenge. When you notice a negative thought, stop and challenge it. Ask yourself, is this really true? What evidence do I have for and against this thought? Reframe. Try to look at the situation from a different angle. For example, instead of thinking, I failed, try, I learned something valuable from this experience. Use yet. Add the word yet to your negative statements. I can't do this becomes, I can't do this yet. It opens up the possibility for growth and change. Practice self-compassion. Talk to yourself like you would to a good friend. Would you tell a friend they're not good enough? Probably not. So don't say it to yourself either. Replace with positive affirmations. When you catch a negative thought, Replace it with a positive affirmation. For example, I'm not good enough can become I am worthy and capable. Remember, changing your thought patterns takes time and practice. Be patient with yourself. It's like learning a new skill. At first, it might feel awkward or unnatural, but the more you practice, the easier it becomes. One important thing to keep in mind is that Overcoming negative thinking isn't about ignoring problems or pretending everything is perfect. It's about approaching challenges with a more balanced and constructive mindset. It's about believing in your ability to handle whatever comes your way. Now that we've covered the basics of the law of attraction and how to overcome negative thinking, Let's dive into some practical exercises you can use to attract more positivity into your life. These exercises are designed to help you incorporate the principles of the Law of Attraction into your daily routine. Let's start with a daily positive thinking exercise. Every morning before you start your day, take a few minutes to set a positive intention. Here's how. Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Take a few deep breaths to center yourself. Think about what you want to achieve or experience that day. Create a positive statement about it as if it's already happened. For example, today I attract positive experiences and opportunities. Repeat this statement to yourself several times really feeling the emotions associated with it. Carry this positive intention with you throughout the day. Next, let's look at a weekly goal-setting practice. This exercise helps you align your actions with your desires. At the beginning of each week, take some time to write down your goals for the week. Make sure these goals are specific and achievable. For each goal, write down why it's important to you and how you'll feel when you achieve it. Break each goal down into smaller, actionable steps. Each day, review your goals and take at least one small action towards them. At the end of the week, 
celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Finally, let's talk about a monthly reflection and adjustment exercise. This helps you stay on track with your long-term goals and desires. At the end of each month, find a quiet time to reflect on your progress. Ask yourself, what went well this month? What challenges did I face? What did I learn? Review your goals and desires. Are they still aligned with what you truly want? Visualize where you want to be by the end of the next month. Set new intentions or adjust your existing ones based on your reflection. Write down any insights or ideas that come to you during this process. Remember, the key to making these exercises effective is consistency. You might not see dramatic changes overnight, but over time, you'll start to notice a shift in your mindset and your experiences. As you practice these exercises, pay attention to the little signs that the law of attraction is working in your life. Maybe you'll start noticing more opportunities coming your way. Or perhaps you'll find yourself feeling more positive and optimistic. These are all signs that you're aligning yourself with the positive energy of the universe. We've covered a lot of ground in this exploration of the law of attraction and positive thinking. From understanding the basic principles to learning practical techniques, you now have a solid foundation to start attracting more positivity into your life. Remember, the law of attraction isn't about magical thinking or ignoring reality. It's about harnessing the power of your thoughts and emotions to create positive change in your life. It's about shifting your focus from what you don't want to what you do want and taking inspired action to make your dreams a reality. As you begin to apply these principles in your life, keep in mind that change doesn't happen overnight. Be patient with yourself and trust the process. Some days will be easier than others and that's okay. The important thing is to keep moving forward one positive thought at a time. Practice your affirmations, visualize your goals, express gratitude, challenge your negative thoughts, and use the practical exercises we've discussed. Over time, you'll likely notice a shift in your mindset and your experiences. You might find yourself feeling more optimistic, noticing more opportunities, and attracting more of what you want into your life. Remember, you have the power to shape your reality through your thoughts and beliefs. You are the creator of your own experience. So dream big, believe in yourself, and stay positive. The universe is waiting to respond to your positive energy. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of positive thinking and the law of attraction. I hope you found this information helpful and inspiring. Now it's time for you to put these principles into practice and see what amazing things you can attract into your life. Remember, your thoughts create your reality, so make them good ones.